surrounded by lost technology. I'm saying it to you little by little, Needle Noggin. Get out of here, mister! <gasps> I'm so sorry, but it's he's cool. right. I hate to say it, but I feel the same way he does. I'm begging you for the good of all of us, please leave this place. Why, so you can all just carry on with your perfect, cozy, little sheltered lives? Huh? You need to realize your plants are not inexhaustible. They could very easily break down someday. You can't cling on to them forever. This technology has a finite lifespan. What are you telling us? You have no idea how hard it is to maintain these systems. We're not planning on anything shutting down for a long time now. Yeah, and anything's better than living out there. I've heard that people's lives are meaningless to you, so why should we listen to anything you have to say? Yeah, that's right! <gasps> No matter what you say, it's not gonna change anything! You better get used to the idea that someday you're gonna all live on that desert planet! You look free, Mogilu. I have some shopping for you to do. Hey, Mogilu, did you look at that equipment like I asked? Oh, you people! And if you're finished, we're short of hands running the ship right now, so go lend a hand if you would. Oh, since you're going to the ship anyway, I have some things for you to carry over there. And be quick about it. Of all the... Oh, you're all members of Mogilu's menagerie, so I expect some respect out of you! Yeah, that's not gonna happen. You're the only one saying that we're performers, and we barely ever perform. If you think this insubordination makes you cool, well, I have some news for you. If you don't treat your leader with respect, I'll burn our traveling papers! <sighs> what do you want us to do? Address me as Troop Mistress. What do you want us to do, mistress? You're thirstier for authority than I thought. Huh. Just remember that you're all my assistants, here to make me look good. We are what now? You stay in the background and make sure the show flows smoothly. If you're not going to be serious, I have better things to do right now. I am serious! Mogilu's menagerie is a dream world of magic, song, and dance! Song and dance? Will that actually work? You'll make it work! Remember, I'm the star, and your job is to make me shine! Don't you dare try to upstage me. Your place is firmly nestled in my shadow. While I dazzle and bedazzle the audience, you'll be there, not quite on my level, making me look even better by comparison. Of all the... Could you be more specific? It's quite simple. You do things like reveal your embarrassing secrets when I hypnotize you, or jump through flaming hoops or let me saw you in half. Absolutely not! It's all just tricks, right? There are no tricks required! You have been handpicked by Mistress Mogilu to assist her on the stage! I believe in you! Now believe in yourselves! Alright, but I think we'll need you to show us how it's done first, Mistress Mogilu. I shall go and fetch a saw. I, I was only joking! You wouldn't hurt your poor old troop mistress, would you? This is the helm. From here, we can control everything on the ship. Watch! Gravity off. Gravity on. Yeah. Hey, what's this thing? That is the vanity drive. It powers the entire ship. <clears throat> what? Let me explain. My people are the most attractive race in the universe. We even found a way to convert our self-esteem into raw energy. On a routine mission to pick up space beer, our hyperdrive malfunctioned and sent us deep into space. We spent years trying to find our way home. Over time, we let ourselves go and could no longer power the ship with our vanity. Ever since then, we've been stuck in this galaxy searching for a being vain enough to get us home. And how's that going? Well, we thought we'd found them on Zargafar 7, but they turned out to just be the most complimentary species. This ship is lovely! Wow, you look great today! I am so hungry! Did you cut your hair?